Hey everybody, what's up? It's your boy, Dr. Corey Kern here, and I wanna show you an awesome leg workout that you can do at home using the Katsu Cycle 2.0 and some basic home exercise equipment. We're gonna incorporate some pulling, some pushing, and you're gonna feel like you spent hours in the gym for only like, I don't know, like 20 minutes. Check this out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, we are gonna start off with a little bit of spin bike. That's right, we're gonna throw these Katsu armbands on. Uh, this is light. Feels like my wife is on here. <laughs> Don't tell her that. Okay, so start my watch. We're gonna do a few minutes of spin bike. Nothing crazy, just something light. While I put these bands on my arms, I'm just gonna go through a nice light little spin routine. Let's see here. Okay, we've got the right, we've got the left. So Make sure that you don't get your hoses tangled up in your pedals here while you do this. And if you don't have a spin bike at home, that's cool. You can go for a walk, you can jump rope in place, you can do pretty much anything and everything. Just try to do something to get your heart going. About two minutes, give or take. Nothing crazy. Just a little something something to get your heart pumping a little bit faster to get some blood flowing through those legs, through your trunk, through your torso, and everywhere in between. All righty, we've got the armbands. Nice position, feeling good. I'm gonna move this cord out of the way a little bit there. Okay, turn on the cycle. We're doing pro-low. I like the pro-low. Feels good. So while I'm spinning, Katsu bands are filling up, and we're gonna focus primarily on the leg banded leg workout. So we're gonna focus on leg strength, really trying to wear my legs out, but I wanna warm up my vascular system first. So put it on my arms first, and if you don't have a whole lot of time, you don't have to do a full cycle, but a couple rounds on the arms just to really engorge and deflate really helps get things going. <sighs> Besides, it's a good way just to kind of get in zone, to get your body ready to do a leg workout. Legs, every day's leg day. Today's gonna be killer leg day. One thing I say all the time is I really like to warm up my wrists, my forearms. You know, I didn't really know how important those were until I got a little bit older and they started breaking down. When I was young, I'd use straps and pull heavy and, uh, which brings me to my next topic, a sledgehammer. What I did is I put a couple pieces of tape on here just for my own point of reference, nothing uh, by the books, but just so I know where I'm holding it. So hand to hand, I know exactly where my other hand held it. So I try to keep things even. So while cycle's going, I'm just gonna nice and lightly just start putting some tension on my forearms. So keep a nice tight grip on this hammer. And you can use anything with weight on it. I'll show you a couple sticks I have, but just something to get the tension going in those forearms to wake up your grip, strong grip. About five on each side, give or take. Uh, so I like to do like a ulnar deviation, really engage the top of that forearm, and then do a couple rolls. Now this is a heavy sledgehammer, and I don't wanna get in the way of my legs, so I'm gripping it right here close to the, the head up here. I'm just kinda rolling it over. If I were to grip down here, way harder, way harder. So just something to get your forearms going while you're pedaling. Remember, don't hurt yourself. You're not supposed to get crazy with this. This is just something to get some tension, some muscles going in your forearms. Okay, that was a total of four minutes on the spin bike. Yeah, I gotta move my bike out of the way because I don't have a whole lot of room in this guy. <sighs> 
where are we? We're on cycle five. And I got my squat rack here, and it's not anchored down. I highly recommend you bolters to the ground, but my wife likes to move things around all the time. So I might get an eviction notice next week if uh, she feels like she wants to paint something. All right, so I'm loading down the squat rack because I'm going to do some pulling. So your back's very important, your shoulder blades. So you really want to get those muscles and your back engaged. That helps get your lats woke up. And so if you're going to do any sort of leg workout, you really want your lats engaged, your core, all that stuff to stabilize that stack of rocks above your pelvis. So we got some weight, 135 pounds on the uh, squat bar. We're going to be hitting that guy up later for right now. We're going to do some T-Rex rows. We are on cycle number six. For those of you who are following at home, I'm going to take the T-Rex to about the waist level, maybe a little bit lower, lean back, and just nice light pulling. And again, this is just trying to get those muscles in your back in the game. You want them playing. You don't want them sitting on the sideline. You want them in the game, woke up, responsive, ready to go. So I'm usually aiming for about 15 starting with like a thumbs up neutral grip and I'm just trying to pull my shoulder blades together and pull my chest apart. So you can alternate between an external rotation, you can do an overhand pull, you can do a face pull, knuckles to forehead. Sometimes I'll just kind of play around in those different areas. Underhand's always a good one too. But this is a great way to really get your horizontal pull going. You want to prime it. You want to wake it up. You want to get everything in your body woke up before we do this so everything's engaged so you don't break anything. All right, good old rowing. And then we want to get the anterior chain. So we like to do some sort of rollout. Rollout's good. You can always do like a pal-off press, some sort of anti-extension exercise. For rollout, we're going knee level. And let's see. We're going to cycle eight. So I'm going to go ahead and just do 10 rollouts. The cycle's going to finish before I finish this set. And that's okay. There it goes. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. Let's watch a couple windows. That's eight. So out, sweep, out, down, out, sweep, out, and you can alternate if you really want to get after it. We'll do more on an ab focus later this week. All right, that was it for the arms. We're going to switch to the legs. Pop off the arm. <laughs> 